I need to eat. This is going to be short. But basically, surprise, surprise, Biden is bouncing on one of his promises. After coming out and saying, you know, oh, I'm so magnanimous. I'm going to forgive an absolutely abysmally tiny amount of student loans, barely any of them. Um, and after the uproar that this created, um, while he legitimately didn't do anything, um, <laughs> and I don't mean that in a he's innocent kind of way, I mean that in a he's nefarious and he's playing you and devoting for a specific type of person. Uh, if you're a, a liberal, uh, at least, you know, the botched American definition of liberal, which is Democrat, which Republicans are liberals too. And if you don't believe me, then ask one of them if they're a liberal and they'll say, no, but I'm a classic liberal. It's still liberalism. <laughs> um, I like... <laughs> I see him doing this. I see him doing two things. First, spurring people to support a specific slant of person because they're the only ones who are going to forgive your student loans. And also causing a stir so that he can have people to isolate and censor um, on the other side. Um, and he didn't even cancel that many loans. And apparently, he didn't cancel any. Because an appeals court has blocked his decision, according to CBS. Ain't that a bitch? And, to be clear... Um, I've never had one. I can show my fucking credit score app again if I need to for all the doubters out there, but, uh, I've never had one. And this isn't about me. I can talk about an issue that doesn't directly affect me right now. You know, I do it with the Ukraine thing, which Biden is shoveling tens of billions at when 20 billion could solve homelessness according to the self-same government um, and when there are people in this country in need of getting their businesses back on track not getting evicted um, not losing everything that they've worked so hard for he's giving it to a foreign country um, so you know while he's doing that um these issues are building up here, right? I can care about an issue that doesn't directly affect me, like, for instance, the Ukrainian Nazis, some of which are benefiting from that money. Biden is shoveling at the military and intelligence industrial complexes so that he can give the product to Ukraine. It's like, it's like money laundering, only it's money laundering that creates weapons through the military industrial complex, and then he gives it to Ukraine. So it's like, yeah, we're giving tens of billions to Ukraine, but only to enrich the military industrial complex here at home while the S&P and Dow Jones tank. I can care about the fact that there's a global movement of Nazis that he is supporting, even though I'm not in Ukraine. And even though that movement of Nazis likely won't affect me that much. I can care that the U.S. government is enabling Nazis again. In the same way that I can care that a program which will not give me any more fucking money um, is, <laughs> is, is being shuttered um, because Biden's just like, I'm just throwing up my hands. I guess I can't do anything about it. <laughs> you know, and, and, and while I'm at it, um, I can also be against, uh, the whole, you know, 
vote for me or you ain't black thing while Biden breaks all of his 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 rhetorical promises about reversing Trump era decisions and the Trump mentality by hyper funding cops, giving them 30 billion more this year and 30 billion more over the coming years with the Safer America Act. Right. I can care about that, even though um, I wasn't one of the people he made the promise to. I mean, that's a little bit closer to home since the police still can't affect, like, all, all the people here. But, like, let's be real here and say that, like, the problem is that he's a lying sociopathic cunt who hyperfunds the police um, while having hypocritical policies relating to his son. Like, oh, yeah. For years and years and years and years, I helped jail a bunch of minorities um, in the form of my crime bill and a bunch of political dissidents in the form of the Patriot Act for which I take credit. But um, when it comes to the, to the weed, I'm so dank, yo. I will pardon all federal offenses that are simple possession and I will pardon all of those that are simple possession and not the ones that are about manufacture and trafficking. So basically, none. Zero. A big fucking goose egg. That's what he did for you. Because almost nobody was affected by that and there were more people he could have helped, but fucking didn't. And, and and you know what? If he had, that might have actually sent a message, some kind of ripple, done something. But if you could just say that we're reversing the damage done by all of our laws relating to potential drug sales and manufacturing, then you'd have to start coming to terms with the fact that you and your crime bills were the reason that a significant amount of people got their assets civilly forfeited, Biden. You would have to, like, maybe come to terms with the fact that you're a massively hypocritical, lying piece of shit. And, and that your policies have financially destroyed so many Americans. Like, helped the militarization of the entire globe to the hegemony of U.S. drug policy. So that they could overturn foreign governments under the guise of stopping drugs. So that you could have more troops, and more cops under your preferred regimes so that you could continue to support people like secessionists and eulogize ex-cyclops at the KKK so that you could be the totally not racist president and grift and say that if people didn't vote for you, they ain't black. Right, Biden? This got personal real quick. I don't use a script. I got some like pointers on my fucking screen. I've got I've got some pointers. And and here's some pointers. Uh pardon the manufacturers and distributors of weed, Biden. How about send that message? And then uh send the message further down the pipeline by denying federal funding to police whose go like governors and governments at the state level will not adhere to this policy of greater freedom with regard to cannabis. But you won't do that because you're not interested in playing hardball for freedom. Only playing hardball for safe policies like supporting Ukrainian Nazis. Like supporting genocide in Yemen through Saudi Arabia, who you sold billions of dollars of weapons to.
And this just, you know, goes in, in, in the record books because the U.S. has helped Nazis. The U.S. is the basis for the Taliban um, and, and, you know, the Iran-Contra affair is another example of let's just help out this generally rightist organization uh, so that they can be our puppet in the region. <laughs> because we need black budget money in order to free hostages or whatever. Oh, it's exhausting. And this is the way it, 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 it always is. There's always something new that's just out of my hands. Elect me for president and I will do everything in my power to make your life better. I'm here for you. You right there, honey. I'm there for you. But once it comes time to actually do something about it, my flex is going to stop and I ain't going to be so strong. And Oh, no. Now I can't do anything. The power's out of my hands, you see. I'm so sorry I expressed so much contrition to you. Now, please, support me anyway. We got another midterm to win. Our orange man is going to be back in with his reign of terror. Because it's so much better under me, right? No. It's not. It's not better under Biden. It's not going to be better under Biden. And if it was better under Biden, then there would at least be consistency. Because when you want to call Trump a crook, you can just do that. He was overt enough about it that when he uh, did something, people were just like, yeah, that's Trump for you. But Biden, we have to like, play real strict pointed points in order to get anybody to believe that he's a piece of shit. Even though he's a demonstrable, repeated, and reputable piece of shit. Um, but if, if, if he was better in the slightest, he would at least be consistent. And his son would be behind fucking bars. He would have snitched on his son just like he got a bunch of people to snitch on a bunch of people elsewhere all the fucking time. He would have done that because family wouldn't have been more important than respecting the laws he theoretically put in place because they made sense and not because they would get the state a bunch of money and forced labor for the prison industrial complex. But he won't be consistent because if he was consistent and put his son behind bars, it would make him look less good as a presidential candidate and less good as a politician to have his fucking son in prison. Even though so many other people's lives have been destroyed by the same things that he will not do anything about when it's somebody he cares about because he's a monster. And if, if, if that's not true, if you really are about pardoning people, then how about you take some steps here, Biden bitch? How about you take some steps here and pardon Assange? Because he exposed war criminals and has been put through the ringer and tortured for uh, so long now because of that. Had his reputation shattered by false allegations. Had his life destroyed by being kept under what amounts to solitary confinement. And then later just solitary confinement. Pardon Assange. Let him go. And, and while I'm at it, here's an unpopular decision you could make. Pardon Snowden too. Oh, but you won't do that. Because not only did he make your guys look bad through, you know, poking little holes. And this is something else Assange did and the reason you won't pardon him either. Because they both poked holes in the military and prison industrial complex. And the intelligence industrial complex as well. And they did that by exposing your fucking 
spying programs and your military programs, and that's why you won't pardon either one of them, because you're part of the reason those programs exist for the Patriot Act you take credit for, Biden. And it would be unpopular, you know? You can't, you can't pardon Snowden now. He's a Russian citizen now. So if you pardoned him, he could potentially come back to America. And that would be an American-Russian uh, dual citizen during the Ukraine times. And you wouldn't want that now, would you, Biden? Even if it means not being a hypocritical, criminal piece of shit. You won't do that. Why would you do that? Why would you avoid being a criminal piece of shit when the whole point of government is that you join it so that you can be a criminal and get away with it? That's what it is, Biden. That's what it is, Biden supporters. You elected a criminal, and that criminal has no problem with his crime family doing crimes. That's it! It's cartelization, it's nepotism, it's evil. But it's your it's your evil, so you'll ignore the evil. You'll ignore the fact that um, a huge amount of the reason the U.S. is probably involved in Ukraine to begin with is that the Ukrainian-like uh, government was <laughs> well knowledgeable of deals involving Burisma and Biden's familial connections to Burisma. Um, or the fact that Ukrainian businesses had been the ones doing a lot of monitoring for things like Amazon's ring cameras, and they probably have information on some people who uh, they're using for leverage, maybe. Maybe they're using some leverage, and leverage is more important than freedom, democracy, or any of these things they parrot about when it matters to their campaigns. Hmm? Couldn't be. You know... Maybe we could just avoid all that by being ethical and free on our own. Maybe that could be a thing. Maybe we could have an anarchist future instead of this statist dystopic hellscape. But we won't get that from Biden. Because he won't even pardon people for selling a plant. He has the power to... He has the ability to, he has the ability to pardon people for selling this plant and for manufacturing it, but instead he's just like, hmm, nobody should be in jail for smoking a plant or for having a plant and, and, and he doesn't do anything about it. Most of the people weren't in there for simple possession and the people who were got it from somewhere. So the possession and use of it that should be softened, but I won't talk about the people who make it, because if I can use that as a justification for stop and frisk, then it'll make the donor who donated $100,000 to me happy in the form of Mike Fascist Bloomberg. And maybe this is the problem. Maybe the problem is that we have a society run by these people who constantly profit off of their own nepotism, who constantly set these things up, and who have the ability to because that's the way this society works. He who has the money, he who controls the purse strings, controls the fucking world. And maybe that's why you should be concerned when these people are building the central bank digital currency, which will be a one-way mirror into all of our finances. Because maybe these people just want that one-way mirror so that they can control you even further in ways that they can't be controlled themselves. Maybe it's fascism. Maybe it's evil. Maybe. I shouldn't, you know, man, I'm starting to think that I shouldn't be saying maybe. That maybe it's just fascism and that it's evil and that these people shouldn't be able to do this sort of thing. And that maybe a better future is possible if we just do all of the things necessary and know all of these tricks well enough that we can effectively not only do this, but also keep it done. And what do I say by do this? I mean smash the fucking state.